Yeah, my name is Karlo Wiknowska. I'm an author uh, of a book called My Struggle, which really is six books. My favorite authors, there's so many. Uh, I have the classics, I love Flaubert, Madame Bavary, Proust, and James Joyce, uh, Céline, I really love. Uh, contemporary fiction, I like Donald Antrim a lot, um, Ben Marcus, uh, yeah, it's all kind of, all kind of stuff. Um, uh, there's a lot of Norwegian writers, Scandinavian writers, which you haven't heard of. Yes, some of my favorites are, for instance, a man called Ture Erik Lund. He's very wild and crazy and, and writes absolutely fantastic novels. And I think sometimes if he had been writing in English, he would have been, you know, like David Foster Wallace or someone major, you know, writer. But his books is almost impossible to translate, I believe. There's another Norwegian writer called Christine Ness, and her book is brought to England, so you will be able to read her in, in a year or so. Um. I wanted to make an anti Proust novel, and I didn't want to do that. But that was, you know, somewhere in my mind. Because I was so absurd with Proust when I was um, in my 20s, when I read him for the first time. So my first novel is very influenced by his writing, but I didn't know of it, you know. Uh, I can see it clearly now, and it's a bit embarrassing. But then I thought, this is great, you know. Uh, at this time, this book, I knew the scope of the project remains of, it's reminding of, of Marcel Proust, but the style and the, you know, uh, my ambition is completely different. I want something very raw and direct and uncompromising. This book is so sophisticated and so, you know, brilliant and, and elegant and beautiful and and all those things my books doesn't, you know, have anything of. Um, you know, my taste kind of stopped when I was in my 20s, 30s, so I still listen to pop and rock music, indie music, and there's a lot of American bands that I love. Uh, some of the Iron and Wine records I find brilliant, you know. I love Midlake, I think they, they are an amazing band. The last Beck album I've played a million times. Um, yeah, and I started to listen to, I've never heard, really listened to Bob Dylan before, but when the Basement Tapes came I, I started to do that, and it's amazing. Um, yeah, and I, I listen constantly to music when I'm writing. So I have a, a certain small tinnitus, is that the word in English? You have this tone, I have that. It's never really quiet because I've been listening to music on my headphones for 25 years now. My desk, it's a lot of uh, oil paint tubes, it's like a, because that's the only way I, I have, if I should relax, you know, absolutely, completely. I can't paint, but I do it as a kind of way of relaxing. So I got that there. And uh, like 25 cups of coffee, uh, which I bring there and then I, they stay there. And ashtrays, like five, six, all full. Uh, I have a big table, and um, yes, that's that's basically it. And a lot of records. Yeah. Sunglasses and, and cigarettes. That's <laughs> that's what I what I bring. Um, and I brought my my kids uh, this time, so we have plenty of luggage with us.
anything else we should know about you? It's all in the books, you know. Cheers. <laughs> 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 <laughs>